Hello, my name is Austin Meyer, and I wrote Xplain for Macintosh, Windows, and Linux, also uh, Apple, iOS, and Android. So I was working at a trade show in the heat of Wisconsin, and I get a phone call from a lawyer saying that I'm being sued in the East District of Texas for patent infringement. Seeing as how I've never been to Texas, I just assumed I was being confused with somebody else. Well, as I've learned a couple hundred thousand dollars in a, over a year now in legal fees later, no, I wasn't being confused with anyone else. I had been sued by someone I've never heard of for infringing an idea I've never heard described in a patent for using a technology that I got from Google. So, when I got my notice from a lawyer that I was being sued and a person delivering a summons to me showed up at the front door of my house a few days later, I had no choice, obviously, but to get someone to defend me in the patent infringement lawsuit in which I was being sued. Before I received this lawsuit, it had never occurred to me that someone would patent an idea so obvious as copy protection and then begin suing everybody that was using copy protection in their apps, particularly if they're simply using the technology that's given to all app developers by Google. Right now, no entrepreneur can do anything without at least having someone claim that he is infringing on their patent. There are hundreds of thousands or millions of patents in force. It's been demonstrated that it is mathematically impossible to search every patent in the database to determine if you're infringing on someone else's patent. Anytime anyone comes out with any cool new idea, it could easily be the case that someone is pretending to be the owner of that idea even though they've never actually done anything cool with it or brought any product to market with it, all they've done is sue those people that do. So the question is, what are patent trolls and how do they relate to the current patent system? It's a little bit difficult to answer that question since I don't know exactly how to define the word patent troll or how to define what the system is. What I do know is that with the thousands and thousands of software patents that are approved every year, it's impossible for anyone like me to sit in his office and work and create cool software without somebody somewhere saying they thought of the idea first, even if they're referencing a system that has actually been in use for years or even decades before the patent was filed. What a patent truly is, is the excuse to sue someone for doing something cool does not actually give you the ability to do something cool. Someone could ask, are the patents that we have high quality, or are they vague, or overly broad, or poor quality? Well, a patent was issued in, I think, the 90s for a stick that a dog could fetch. A patent was approved for making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. A patent has been approved for walking a cat. The patent office will approve anything, no matter how ridiculous and predated by common knowledge uh, that concept may actually be. Once the patent office approves one of these ridiculous patents, it gives the patent troll the ability to sue everyone that uses this idea in their daily life or their daily work. It makes it impossible to do anything without somebody deciding they feel like suing you. And when they file a lawsuit like this against you, you're down for about $2 million of legal defense fees, years of your life. In this case, something between 90 and 97% of the people settle with a patent troll rather than paying their million to two million dollars in legal defense fees. And I've read that the average settlement is about $400,000. It's legalized extortion and it needs to be stopped. Someone could ask how to improve the software patent system. I would say it's by eliminating the software patent system. Software is created when someone sits in front of his computer with his jolt call in one hand, his mouse in the other, listening to techno for hours on end, thinking and concentrating and testing and trying and inventing and working. No software developer goes to the patent office to see what he's supposed to do. A software developer comes up with ideas and implements them through work, creativity, testing, and ultimately delivery to the public. A patent is nothing but an excuse for someone to sue you for doing your job. I do not hold any patents. Seeing as how patents are actually used to sue people that do cool things, instead of enable you to do cool things, I've decided not to acquire any patents. Even though there is little doubt, based on the patents for walking cats, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and sticks that dogs can fetch that have been approved and granted by the patent office, 
There's little doubt I could get a lot of patents for my software. I choose not to get them because I choose to create software that people love to use and do cool things, not sue other people for doing cool things. If I were to have to boil the current software patent system down to one word, I guess I would have to choose the word clueless.